We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Yeah, this is Everton Blender. And it's all about the young police from Jamaica. Seeing young police channel. Big up yourself. Everton Blender said that. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Blessed love, Rastafari. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video yeah so as we continue the journey this is part three part four of the um nine part series those of you who want to hear the thing in its fullness and you can't wait for it to come daily um you can subscribe to the patreon um squad and you'll be able to listen to it in its entirety yes four hours unedited and you uh, you're going to learn some things so uh, Mr. Herb Nelson speaks, and um, so is Wilfred Rattigan, David Trump, and Peter Bunting laundering dirty money in the U.S. to destabilize Jamaica for the PMP criminal organization. So we don't know, you know, you understand what I'm saying? So that is what is allegedly, um, you know, that's, that's what is out there because it's an allegation. So we don't know, but as to me, you know, hey, look, number one, you could never get me be in a certain certain group of people because number one, I am a patriot, so nobody couldn't buy me for me to um, for try to go um, work against my own country. So this is a question now: um, Is Wilfred Rattigan setting up himself for a money laundering investigation? We don't know because based on based on and, and what he um, said in part three. Um, Dr. Nelson with even the brown paper bag. This is a man that is a former FBI agent, you know. We're just a, a you know a detective. We were just a detective back in Jamaica. You understand? And we know what to investigate. And you know, having you know, um uh, one of our colleagues, you know, with, um, you know been um see him see him background as Rattigan and you know, there's all kind of troubling things there. So based on, based on that, um, Herbert Nelson's statement in part three, a troubling pattern has emerged suggesting that there may be grounds for a money laundering investigation by federal authorities. Yes. The question that arises is why would Wilfred Rattigan, a former FBI agent, knowingly place himself in a position where he could become a target of such investigation? Oh, oh, no, me, me, this is just me still doing it. Okay? Because number one, number one, you couldn't get me for the... Well, I mean, you know, as I'm saying, if you're not corrupt, nobody can corrupt you. I'm glad how me stay on them thing there. You understand? I'm glad how me, glad how me stay. Nobody cannot. You know, nobody can corrupt me on them thing there. Because I know me stay on them thing there. So the question that arises is, why would Wilfred Rattigan, a former FBI agent, no one place himself in a position where he could become the target of a such an investigation money laundering a serious thick crime that you know him know that too you understand and the son of nobody are set up nobody you know you hear the man talk um i speak for himself i talk freely he's not being coerced he's not being threatened or anything like that he's the one that called jamaica young police channel you understand and at the jamaica young police channel um you know we're just here to expose the truth. We're not here for carrying a ball, seeing the guy and them thing there. So give the Rattigan's history of legal battles with the FBI, particularly his lawsuit against the agency. It is puzzling 
that he will engage in activities that could potentially draw federal scrutiny. Remember, so this man have him still have although him left the F FBI uh, more than a decade ago, him still have enemy there, enemies there, you know. Because you're going to have people, irrespective whether you, did, uh, 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 you know, um, you feel that it was um, retaliation. And the thing is that now, it was based on his behavior after 9 11. Whether true or not, you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm really, I'm really religion. You have to understand, say, you know, um, you can't depend on cow back on a cut cow skin. So that's why them try all kind of things and him sue them and all kind of thing and him win and then the court to um to ask out him thing. So you know so with that and them thing, if you get all a job as a contractor, them thing they are no no. So anything we are doing them thing they have to uh something so evil in I saw it going on them thing then. Remember say he's not a born American, you know. So although he used to work with them and them thing there, you see, you have to understand, you know, because Anyway, go on them thing, when you come on to organization or agency or anything like that, it's like a, it's a gang, you know. So if you're not part of the gang, per se, you understand? And we, we applaud him for stand up for himself, you know, him stand up against them, you know, because of racism and them how them treat him. And the reason why they, them, them treat him and based on our real and them thing there, is just because I'm action after 9-11. Them feel like he... Well, although there's a, there was an investigation, but I feel like he was betraying America. That are white people, as I said that, you know. So, I just saw it go. So, me, as me, you know, I would have just, I would, no guy could not get me. So, I don't know if I try my, well, I don't know. Uh, he must know still, you understand? So, I saw someone well-versed in the laws surrounding financial crimes, including money laundering. He must be acutely aware of the risk involved. So why would he expose himself to the possibility of further legal actions by the FBI, an agency with which he has already had a contentious relationship? Something just to make sense at all. Cause like for me, you know what I'm thinking, eh? Me, you say me don't know so why me and them in a problem and all them things. Eh? Me not get them a chance and them things eh, you know, to make them start nothing against me. Me, I just walk, because you don't know, you know, you know this to come to you know, when he a black man, I was, what he's doing, he might try for, he might try for destabilize Jamaica, I'm country, I'm bad. So that for sure, you say, even the American, I say, see, all, everything we're going to say about this man, when him that Saudi Arabia, I say, no, no, patriotism and loyalty. Look what he do to him one country. And, and I see him thing, the same thing that they're accusing him of, you know, because they want to say, um, the Saudi, they may not pay him, Money when him there for him betray America based on him behavior, although investigation proof otherwise, but them just are use inclination and all them things. You understand? And same of all kind of wild party and them things. And now, this this now, it has show the same. So, although them say, all right, we need proof it now, but see it you now. I see him thing now, what him do. And this now, the reason why him do it, him do it for money and political gain. Because you, you can't hear about the brown people bag and all kind of money, Peter Bunting. And be a bit chump. So money laundering is a serious offense. And US law US law enforcement, including the FBI, take it very seriously. Every suspicious financial transaction, especially those involving non-profit organizations, can raise red flags. If the Jamaican government or any other entity were to file a report against Ratigan and his associates were soliciting funds under the guise of non-profit. And some of those funds are accounted for. It could trigger a full-scale investigation. We are telling you that, you know. So if the Jamaican government file, or any internet file a report against Ratigan and his associate, including ugly some and all of them people, at them time, you know, man start throwing money on the bus, you know. In money laundering cases, each withdrawal or suspicious transaction can count as a separate charge compounding the severity of the situation. For Ratigan, this is a precarious position to be in. He understands the legal system and the implications of federal financial investigation, yet he appears to be engaging in activities that could easily lead to scrutiny from law enforcement. Knowing his past with the FBI, this situation makes evil, even less sense. Why would someone with enemies in such a powerful agency invite further attention and potential incriminate themselves. That don't make no sense at all. 
You see, like, that's why I mean, no keep friend, you know. You understand? Oh, a man like him be friend with a man like Ugly Sum. Ugly Sum a criminal, you know. Remember, I said the man got a prisoner in England for 10 years. Oh, you're a friend with a man like that. Number one, you can't find, you can't find no criminal in a, none of my phone, in a, my phone. Work or personal, no criminal. Whether they must sell drugs or they used to sell drugs, none. And nobody will go to prison. So, how oh, him go find himself? So, you understand? So, for, so uh, him put himself in this precarious position. So, if Ratigan and his group have indeed solicited money, funds for their activities and cannot account for where the money has gone, they are opening themselves up to accusations of fraud and mismanagement. Worse still, if any of those funds were misappropriated, are, trans are transferred in suspicious ways. It could fall squarely under the purview of money laundering laws, leading to lengthy legal battles and possible criminal charges. Ultimately, Ratigan should know better than to place himself in such a vulnerable position. If the Jamaican government or any other party pursue this matter, it could lead to devastating consequences for him and others involved in the organization. Given his background, it seems almost irrational for him to engage in any behavior that could lead to such an outcome, making one wonder if he is fully aware of the gravity of his actions. Wilford Rattigan must realize that, with his track record, any misstep could provide the FBI or other federal agency with an opportunity they need to bring him down. You can't leave yourself out there in the wind, but I saw it go still there. You know. If you're not corrupt, nobody can corrupt you. Oh, them try to corrupt me and them couldn't, them couldn't do it. Money, people are for me money. If pro do propaganda for PMP, I me run them now. I don't that, I don't tell a life for nobody. I don't care no water for no guy. A man I promised me this and promised me that and all kind of thing. Man, I tell me which blagger them have and who they on them payroll. Me know that. I tell a guy, say, go away, I know that. Man, I offer with money for take down video. You understand that I brother, um, when name Little Big Oil drugs dealer from England, where my ugly some of friend and cool breeze, where them kill um, rifle and one of which is 10,000 pounds. And we tell them, say, we don't want it. People, um, audience members say, oh, we are idiots and we are fools if we take the money. We don't know that because we not do this. We love Jamaica and every Jamaican corrupt. We say all the day, all the time, we believe in a preemptive strike. Criminals must live in a fear of losing their lives, not the law by any citizens. And everybody do things because what's in it for me. I am not about that. I am all about Team Jamaica. So it's a risky game he's playing and the consequences could be far reaching, both for him and for those associated with him. With him. The question now is whether he can navigate this dangerous situation or his actions will ultimately lead to his downfall. So all of them over there are chat and a go on and all kind of thing. Ratiga know the seriousness of what Mr. Nelson has revealed about the group. So if the Jamaican government, where him stays on and I try to bring down, if the Jamaican government make a report to the federal government, the FBI, the IRS and all of these people, a problem for everyone involved. All Rupert France is a big fat brother. You go and say oh, some people do some things where they never do before. Because of criminality. They might try for oh, they might try for destabilize Jamaica because they don't love Jamaica. And you can't sympathize with people who are wicked. So we want you watch, you listen, and you decide. So yeah, listen to the conversation that we continue with Mr. Herb from Herb um, Nelson. So you watch, you listen, and you decide. Start. No put no security in the pony bus and then take a bus and then stand up in a bus with the people them. All you think the all you think the ordinary people them feel and the school people them, wow, the Prime Minister ride right pony bus with him say I first the bus I'm the pony first bus. You understand? And him ride pan it as the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Where opposition leader, I mean I'm bed. Kaima no him care about Jamaica, all him care about is winning. But, but look, but look, brother, let, let's just say politics is something else. We know that we, we, we not, yes, PR that's a, then when I, when I tell you, they're not charisma I tell you say I'm charismatic, just like Michael Manley. So I'm a Mike that's why I'm telling you say Andrew Wallace is Michael Manley 2.0. You know here a gummy um, baby trump though. 
majority of Jamaican are going to like him because he's not like us. He's a white man and he's born a Britain. He's a Jamaican. And the thing with the PMP criminal organization, nobody inside here is willing to come out and say, This man is not Jamaican. Show your Jamaican birth certificate because there's none. Oh, me know, oh, 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 you think I knew? It was in time the killing of the people them in a Gregor Park last year. Sweeney and Rum Punch. Them name can them alias can never evade my memory. It's after the killing of those people that someone who's close to Mark Golding called me. Just like how you and I talk. And I called me and said, boy, Mr. Porter, you know me? I'm mean, know you and them thing there. I'm mean, know Mark for decades. I mean I tell you this. Cause I mean, listen. I mean, nothing didn't know so them listen. So we listen you, you know. We listen you more than any other on our channel you know, because the thing is that with you, you know, you have credibility. Cause you come from a PMP background. So when you talk, when you talk, the only thing that the only thing people can say, boy, you are labor right. Them can't say a lie you are tell. You understand? And them appreciate what we are doing. I say, boy, we like we like how you beat everybody and them thing. But boy, you beat with more. But here you now, we like how you are doing. You see the killing of the people, the man them thing now, you rightfully say it's uh, a politics. Mark Golden, because him no come out and denounce it and we are telling say him have knowledge about the killing before the killing happened and the displacement of the people them. Him through the brother when him um Raymond Price and this come from a brother named Charge Badness. That uh um career go um bonds when uh, um East are in New Jersey. And they tell me, I tell you this, and I can't, I can't put my life, I not even put my kids there, my life, on, on the block. Mark Golden is not a Jamaican, a England in born. I want mm -hmm. to make the people them know, because I want to destroy Jamaica, because I want to burn it down for all of our ashes. We don't want to go back to the Michael Manley policy where we are kill each other. And that's when, I am the first person that let the Jamaican people in the world know that he's not born there, you know. Until it takes months before it takes steam. Up to now, he can't show none because he's not, but he's not a Jamaican, and not one owner of front, not one people. But them have a Jamaican passport. No man, all right. I mean, I tell you now, I'm like, I'm like, oh, you said that. And guess what? When when they apply for the Jamaican passport, there was no documentation that went along for the PMP to give it to him. You know how the PMP operate? You do this, uh -huh. you do this, and you do this. Them send something, and it goes straight to the person where it's supposed to go to, and that's how him get it. None. There's no paperwork with the passport. And why the GOP government free to come out? Because all about privacy. Criminality, I protect criminality right there and then. So when time Daryl Vaz had came out and said some things, you know, so the PMP and the NIA and Jamaican for Justice come out and say, oh, it's breach of privacy. Breach of privacy when a crime committed. He should not have a Jamaican. He should have charged for it for obtaining a passport by means of false pretense. The man is not a Jamaican. And mm -hmm. every one of you people who support them, Feel to feel for defend Jamaica. That's why I said the, the, um, the group that you people defend, they are not, they are not patriotic. They are not patriotic to Jamaica. It's all about what's in it for me, money, and that's traitor us, man. You understand? We can't operate as that and them thing. There. What's in it for me? Me born and grow a ghetto and them thing. There. Oh, me not, oh, me stay and me not see money as the ends to, to means or anything. Me not see money. Me see my people. Your all of you people are operate is all about money. Meaning that if I hey, look here, if I was operating this channel uh, um, for money, mm -hmm. when I had released when I had released the guy who was responsible for killing one of the British and rifle, um, the information and him come out and him thing there. And before me was I spoke to him, one of them emissary called me. And you hear upon the channel, I ten thousand pound him one give him one for me for me take down the video. For them and the, so that them can register it and have sole copyright to it. Nobody can play it. So I am saying to them, you hear it on the channel, I say, why you forgive me ten thousand dollars for one video? For me, take it down for what? What's in it? In this video that you want to pay so much money because they may want it for out there and them thing. I'm saying no, you can't keep your ten thousand pounds. Me not want it. So if I was doing things some money, that would be that that see I could have make ten thousand pounds. You know what you know how much people cost me and thing and I say, oh, yeah, eat that ten thousand pounds, you know what that could have done? My soul, my soul, my character, my integrity, and my reputation means more to me than ten thousand pounds. My rep that can you can't buy me. So me know this is money. I better meant to make me want. And as I said to you before, if you people want to use the court for thing, the thing, every political representatives, 
you they, they are sent Thomas, you are Spanish town. You are supposed to live in a division with the people. You are supposed to live in a your constituency. 75% of the time, you can't go say you're dead, you know. But it's supposed to be can report say you're dead, say you sleep. So out of the seven days, you're supposed to sleep at least five days out of a week. We're not talking about visit, we're not talking about sleep. When you go to your bed and wake up and be and leave from there and go to work. 75 and a so Jamaica got changed. That's enough to do. Put make that. Another thing too, don't make young people uptown can apply and get gun. Make people live in a drone zone of life gun too. That's how y'all get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they go say no. The same PMP now come in and liberate them. Say boy, yeah, because of you live. Nobody now no control where you're born. You know, one of the things that I said in the past and I maintain, mm -hmm. if the government cannot guarantee your safety, then everybody has a right to bear arms. Yeah, but you have to understand, say, remember, say, system is designed on certain people life in Jamaica have matter have value. You find yeah. you live down to say you know them uh, who, 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 who are so the people. We gotta, we gotta change that. Them now that's why I may tell you say you, you know and you, you, you all right so based on how you say you want to use the court. Use the court for do that. Use the court uh, for do that. Uh, uh, precisely brother. This is what I this is what we advocate for. This is why we form the one Jamaica Legal Defense Foundation. Yeah, but when I say anything, we don't think I'm out there claiming him for it. This is something I talked to him about because I also talked to him about the Innocence Project that is in New York and all the major cities here in the U.S. Now, an Innocence Project, I wrote to um, Principal Aina at the uh, Norman Manley School, Law School. I said, hey, you should let your seniors participate in an innocence project while they're at the law school. No, look here. Between me and him, see, Start no, looking look at here. these cases no. where these people have been locked up for so long. Well, well, that, that that's a that's a good that's that's something that's a good idea. But the thing I, I also bring back the country. And innocent. Yeah. The thing is that to bring back the pe uh, make people have faith in our system. People, all right, look. I, I don't know if you had seen, if you had read an article where a man was killed. This man in a Christiana, Manchester. And more of this is going to happen. He's on bail for murder. People have no faith in a Jamaican system. You think people... I took... Hey, look here. I did a video, you know. I spoke, I spoke uh, about eight people, you know, where have them family been killed in a Jamaica, you know. And there were witnesses yeah. in a case, you know. And you see, after the black man case, them people that tell me, said, them not going to court, you know, because they might kill the people themselves, you know. I ask them why. They say, oh, if you kill my, my, my brother and my brother and my sister and then me if you got a court for 10 and them got take out for 10 years if you can come back and kill me, me rather wait until them get bail and come out for kill them back. So that, if you murder rate got increase at Jamaica, you know. And because I system, both of them, my both political party destroy the system. Well, me tell you, so one is only a little bit better than the other, you know. Remember, yeah. say, remember, you know, Mark Golden, um, Baby Trump, you know, was advocating for 8 to 12 years of murder. And I'm telling Jamaican people that from ever since murder is, you have minimum, minimum, maximum. That's a lie. Murder was just only murder alone. A both of them, the PMP and the GLP, after Edward Siaga, the meet of um, the political arena, them dismantled it along with Delroy Chuck and Delroy uh, and Orius Strong. You understand? All of the tough lads that we are coming and them thing, eh, is because of the people, them, a cry. It's because of polls. They not do it because they love the people. None of them not love poor people. The only little man that was looking out for the Jamaican people that any little hope was the brother when he named Nigel Clark and him gone. So who are going to save Jamaica now? When the, the man, the only person that was there that was looking out for the Jamaican people. In which, you don't know, say, political optics. He's not going to tell the Jamaican people so that's the reason why I'm going to IMF. It's because the Prime Minister don't want to angle people. Because the man tell him, say, look, Edward Siaga, when Edward Siaga was Prime Minister, he listen, three months after him become Prime Minister, he started hanging back murderers. And him now, that's the main reason why he left. Nothing else. You ever see, any, you ever see anyone resign from government and, min, and a minister of government and go somewhere else? First attack me in Jamaica. But most people don't understand, they don't understand the nuances to it. And that's the main reason. The Prime Minister now to hang murderers. So that's why the man gone. So, ooh, ooh. So, so you tell me this man abandoned him country? No, I'm, I'm not abandoned. Him give up. 
I know him a leader, I know him a leader, I know him a leader at the JLP, I know him no one for no infighting and them things. Eh? And the Prime Minister, the same Prime Minister we are talking about, say, a two term people for do. Him love power so much, you think he might do anything about that. You know, see him silent on it. You know, see all of them are snake seals, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they don't love Jamaica, they don't love power. You understand? Well, yeah, well, Chris, you best believe that because we love Jamaica. We have poured money into no, all the Well, look here, between, between, between me and you, I mean, uh, well, I am uh, only love Jamaica, but you don't love Jamaica, you don't love the PMP criminal organization. Because everything that you do is on behalf and not be on behalf of Jamaican no, people. No, 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 no. Look, we just started uh, oh, oh, less than two years ago. All right. Miss Art, I am to, a... to organize the, the OJLDF, which is going after them in court. Because we're, we got frustrated so, uh, after look the here. first six years where we could not get no attention. And because because them have a them have a diaspora organization already, and then uno go farm another one, and them shown uno, and the same people them were in a. Alright, I listen. I listen to what when them Rupert Francis them file things with the IRS. So me know say so all of them thing they are research, um, the, you know through um legal, um, you know through the legal. The legal yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know I say you can't lobby government unless you are part of this and all kind of thing. And, Look here, it's but, simple. But let, me, let me ask you this. Mm. Then. You have a lot of insider knowledge. Yeah. Right? And you get a lot of tip offs. Um, if indeed we can build a case against any of them so called law enforcers who are not doing their job, do you believe you would be able to? get the raw evidence that their their intentions is less than honorable that they're just not doing their jobs because it's supporting a political party we don't care which party it is yeah, a, yeah, a, hey look here you know you, you can't see it for yourself and and i'm going to give you two i'm going to give you two examples to show you say even this government is complicit with the crime in jamaica I was born and raised in a con- um, Jonestown concrete jungle. And you see in my community in a January, in a Angola, where men, you see a man, when he is uh, Rick Tyler, O.C. Rick Dick, he have a bar in a Craig Town. I put, up a, I put up a video with him, you know, him and Baby Chump and a brother named Sammy. Sammy was labor right. He was close to Desmond McKenzie. Because of him being a corrupt, him being corrupt and a criminal, sympathize, criminal enabler and sympathizer, this man Mackenzie, you know, kick him, run him out from in him circle, and him down in his arms of Mark um, Baby Chump. You know that Baby Chump was originally a labor right before he became PMP. He Is must that not, right? You never did know that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, uh, why? We come like all of us some dummy and them thing there. Baby Chump was a labor yeah, right. Did, I was, but it just goes to show you, we because we've been in this country so long. No, and we then they've been in our country long too. You understand? How me, long me, you been here? Me and, I, me, me and America got three decades. But I still have my ties back in Jamaica the same way. You understand? The okay. thing is that Baby Chump... Baby and you Chump, live in Florida. Yes, man. Baby Chump, Baby Chump is an original labor right from back then. You know, listen all about the woman when you... What's your name? Karen? Karen? What's your name? Karen? Um, what's her last name? Oh, Karen Cross. Karen Cross. You know, you have Karen Cross still in the two. The man was originally yeah. a labor right. The man yeah, on a PMP. Me, me. Me hear Karen Cross and me hear my fact, what's her name? Uh, Stern. She has Stern a good friend. Who you are talking the black the black girl at Georgia? Yeah. yeah. She come from eh, she used to live at Jonestown too, you know. Is that right? She don't come from Jonestown, but she used to live there. She went there when she, she had two. She used to live there. Yeah, she used to live at Jonestown. Yeah. Me talk to her on the phone. Yeah, she she look up my profile on LinkedIn. Oh, Stern? Staring, yeah. And she did she did that she did expose about you? No 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 no. She um she 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 just look it up. Oh so oh you know she look it up. I it, it, my thing is geared to tell me who Oh oh is. okay. Oh who view your profile and stuff like that. Oh yeah, so you have a yeah. you have a you have a you have a account with with the info so it give you that, that um right, it give that yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, so oh, yeah. you have to pay a certain amount of money if you get that and everything. Yeah. Well you have to pay the premium. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Well, me have the me have the military premium. Yeah. 
<laughs> Technological. Yeah. Yes, brother. Yeah. Yes. But you know, this is why I was telling you, this is the smarts we were given to the JDF and JCF mm -hmm. and the customs, right? And and Coast Guard and the whole of them. And they let Chris Beckford set up that system back in 20... It would have been finished by 20, 2018, right? Because we would have started to, cons to construct the 2017, finished 2018. And let's say you are in an office at Donut Central. Mm -hmm. And you are in a case. Yes. And when you leave... Somebody is going into your um, computer or them going the hard records and they're sending information out. Mm -hmm. You know, they won't make the phone call and them won't. Every phone call that's made, first of all, we, we do like we do here in the federal building. We tell people, look, you're subject to monitoring as long as you're in this building and you know some people dumb enough to ignore it right mm, yes you have so, yeah, uh, in uh, all federal buildings they have cameras you know some yeah, of them some yeah, of the them cameras are, yes. uh, and and they pick up on the the phone numbers being dialed out to mm -hmm. because they have to they want to know if somebody is putting information out there that is classified mm -hmm. And you know, not all information is classified, but you have some information sensitive or law enforcement sensitive, right? So this is how they catch people giving information to the media, mm -hmm. Times or the Washington Post or, you know, whomever they want to give it to. To me, could have had that capability. We were giving them everything. Well, and that way you cut out this PNP or GLP uh, appointee who feel like them neighbor string cutting the party and they <laughs> must inform the party about what's things. going on. Yeah, but, yeah, you understand what yeah, I'm but, saying? Yeah, but the thing is that, you know, you must remember saying, you know, remember that um, this even the uh, you go right back now to with the PNP as Aluna Samba had said that they make certain so them put people in various strategic position in our government even then I'm gone for make certain yeah, them but, but you all of them we would neutralize, we would neutralize that because guess what the NIB the MIU the Prime Minister's office the Ministry of Justice and the Ministry of National Security will be informed as to where the leaks are coming from Mm, but you have, you have to understand, say, remember, say, all of the, the system is a criminal system, you know. Once them get rid of special branch, and this monk special branch, it make the police force even more impotent. The detectives don't patrol the streets anymore. They are in office. Reason being is that them have police and soldiers now and monitor communities as if it's a war zone. How is that? How we, how we reach a point where Jamaica is a war zone without are invading force because of people within the same communities and the right. police and the police and the soldiers them are what these checkpoints they are not allowed to go outside a certain perimeter if them do it it's illegal and then them go to jail so you know, see system designed for you criminals all right. that all we reach a point here where a police and soldier are feeling our community for people sleep you know since jamaica is a you know since jamaica a criminal's paradise but then when it, we have the detective on the street the people them could have sleep the detectives now, right now, them guys work like bank tellers in an AC, white white shirt and pretty tie and pretty shoes, and them have nine cock out and them now doing the police work. All them just say them are investigator. And the people them in their community do not know the detectives. The uniform police them, they are like security guards, because most of them go to work, go hustle, and they are the ones that owe are police streets. The people are not confident in them because they are the same one and the criminals are friends. So that's how the crime has increased. Why do they are why you think the late why why the labor right don't reinstate back special branch? Because it not suit them because special branch, if it's reinstate, it it uh, exposed criminality that are going. Just like how them they how much cocky you know them find in a, the airport of Baskerville 
No one has been arrested on child for it, but yet still you have 9 11 cameras inside here. Why is that? You think I'll come on down at 33 and 35 Walton Park Road drugs? No. A man we have a man we have private jet and all kind of thing and connected. So the big pallet of coke, nobody no charge. But yet still you have camera in the airport them. Special branch now. Rule would have exposed everything. Fitzbailey are the one in charge of it. All of them things they seal. Alright. Another thing now. Um, where well, brother and him, um, um, Fitz, um, Fitz Bailey, so him, they don't arrest and charge nobody with that, with, with, um, with the court dealing. So, you, it, so you're telling me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on Dr. Yeah. Nelson. Right. So, having, right. so having the detective them now, um, having them stationary, the detective can't patrol the street, they don't do that anymore, because the detective used to be effective, you know. That are before them dismantle, because everything what them do, you know. Is in retaliation for the extradition of Christopher Dudu Squawk. And uh -huh. the, P, the PMP start the, P, uh, the, the extradition of Christopher Dudu Squawk and the traffic euro thing, them used to mash up special branch. So the PMP came in 2011, this man could special branch because special branch is the one that tells Bruce Golden about the check. Owen Ellington, I want to tell them, you know, say a special branch do it, you know. So them along with Owen Ellington, a criminal, a criminal. You ever see anywhere this happening in the world? Where a man who's arrested and charged with dishonesty become criminal and um, become commissioner of police? No. Only in Jamaica, Owen Ellington. And yet, let me tell you, say my best. I, I was commissioner of police. A man who's a criminal enabler. Well, Who? it, 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 his nephew is now the current commissioner, right? Yes, of course. And that's his so sister. So that means he still have his hand in the cookie jar. I still have it. Then you know, say I did, I did a video about it too. You expect, so, ah, look here. Not only that. So he didn't. His nephew, before him even asked, reached this point, him crash and right have a police vehicle drunk and the police officer that was investigating the case, them transfer him and him mark in a police, him not get no more promotion. Because uh, but, uh, his uncle was the commissioner of police. You, you think the labor right, them don't know that? Them know it. Remember, I said this, I see a man when he was at NIB, him leak information to criminals. Remember, says a criminal for Owen Ellington, anyone who affiliated with Owen Ellington cannot be a, a, a cannot be. Can be clean. Okay, you can't, all right. So, what you expect? Remember, say, you, you understand what I'm saying? And the yeah. thing is that why them have him there, why them have Kevin Blake there, is to protect this brother when named Patrick Bailey. Patrick Bailey should be arrested and charged from, two, from, from 2006 for kill the man. Well, well this, this is why I keep asking. From 2016. You. Mm. And I was going to get to Bailey and the Patrick Bailey and and the other young boy detective that I'm close to that killed the girl. That's a girl I met at which, Kingston Tech. Which detective you attack? You, 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 you're talking about uh, pa the Patrick Bailey murder. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. Prime Minister's lawyer, right? Yes. Then the detective that um, from Constant Spring. But I told you I know all them concert spring guys, right? And I know say him and Bailey close. Which detective you thought? Ah, uh, what the guy named where we killed the girl man from um killed him girlfriend in Oakland apartments up there on Concert Spring Road. Oh, okay, you thought, oh you thought the case with um para, with, with para and uh, and them say girl I, I did suicide but I did murder. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And and the girl and the girl the girl is related to a farmer. It's related to our detective inspector at the time, one brother named Macleish. Right. And that's how everything yeah. comes. Yes. And them, and yeah. them label Macleish. Like Macleish and him never get no more promotion because I... Right? Yeah. And the man, yes. It, mm. it, it's, a, it's a whole lot that go on. The, 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 the scandals inside the... GCF, police force. Police force. If we had that uh, system installed, that system is... Well, you could add the AI to it now. Where well, AI will make in your cases for you. But it will make cases of internal corruption as well as the external corruption. It will make cases, the murder cases, because then we have to put all the factors into all right. the computer. Okay. And the computer scramble things. All right, look here, let me tell you this now. And you yeah. and and you 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 you're supposed to know this. You know that man that was killing Patrick Bailey's house, that man is an American citizen. You know, so the yeah. man, you know, so the man's family can 
lobby the, the American um, Department of Justice for Patrick Daly to be charged in America the, with murder. The, I, I made that point on Rattigan and other shows. I don't talk about the point. I, I have done video like about four years, about three years ago about it because them can't try me in America. Because look here, that case, you know, I easiest murder case ever in our history of Jamaica. Uh -huh. eh, the easiest murder case because there's no breaking and entering. You understand? So that was yep. to show you say, it's two persons inside here. One is alive and one dead. Who killed the man? It cannot be a dopey. Right. You understand? No, no, that is true if it were only two people inside of the house. No, no, no. We're not talking about if it is true. We just go, we're not go with half an hyperbole. We are go with facts. Because based on what happened. Well, 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 you, he, he, you get your information. I get my information. No, we're not talking about, we're not talking about information. We are talking about evidence. We are talking about things where we convict the man in a court. We're not talking about we're not talking about what we hear. Because we're not going with the ears here the intelligence. What I am saying is that based on the police report, two persons near the house, one is dead and the other is alive. We're not talking about right. we're not talking oh, about right. other other right. things that other elements to the case. We're just talking about the case itself. So you have Patrick Bailey is alive and the other man um, dead. dead. Right. Genius dead. So the only person who could have killed Genius is Patrick Bailey. If Patrick Bailey is not the killer, I'm going to tell you who killed the man, who shot him and stabbed him up because no breaking and entering. Oh, you know, oh, so you know, you're a gunshot. I saw, we, I saw you sleep dead. Why? Yeah, why? Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? And then How now, much you know about Junior German? Then I see him here say I talk about. Yeah, yeah, I'm asking how much you know about him when he was in Philadelphia. Uh, well, the only, well, the only thing I, I, I don't know about him background in America, but I know that this man, that um, CM Bailey, gets a large sum of money, millions of the man, because also the man that in his house, you know. Is his house, yeah. Yes, yeah. I, put, I kill him, kill him, and I take away everything from him. You understand? Because they, not only that, but when the man was coming down, Patrick was supposed to finish building another house for him. Mm. Right? Uh, I just too much corruption at Jamaica, man. Hmm? And, 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 and he's, he's a known drug dealer in Philly. I don't know about that. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, um, that, I cannot. That's, add, the, the way that, that's the inside information I got. I did, I did, not, I did, not, I, I did. Billy, all of this money. No, that's how it comes to make the money legal. No, no. The money we get is from a lawsuit in Jamaica against the government. Yeah, the, the lawsuit is one thing, but he was sending money down from Philadelphia. I, I don't, I don't get that information. And, and, and the man have cars, he have motorcycles, he have all kinds of stuff. Mm. Right? Long before the government settlement where Patrick Bailey got him. Well, all of them things here does, uh, as you say, all them thing that you see if I don't get my thing from reliable source, I don't just listen to where people street people and them thing there, cause we know Jamaican people. Just like how people tell life for me and them thing there. Them cable tell them cable tell you when in the nine nineties I came to Jamaica and all of them things they say me with number hey, look here, me can't tell you this. I may tell you this and them thing there, pub, privately and then publicly. Number one may I tell you say if a woman on an Indian or she brown, me not talk to her, me not talk to fat people. So I will, uh, when I listen to the girl vice thing and all, I just laugh. You understand? I don't mess with pit uh -huh. period. Because no more, I don't like, like rapists. You understand what I'm saying? And no more, anytime I travel to Jamaica, I don't travel by myself. So all of them things, I don't come up with them things because they don't want to respond for me. They send Isaac Buchanan on the program for over four hours. I'm going to beat him up on it and them things. Because I just use logics. You understand? You can't, get, you, you can't, you know, solid my name and them things. People who know me know the kind of person I am. That's why them confuse me you now with, with the person at politics watch. Cause pe you can't tell most people say I am not that person, you know. But I am not the same yeah, I am not the person. I am not the surpy at politics watch. I hear you, brother. The politics watch person I know was in New York um at the consulate. And um most likely is military. Mm, yeah, it was MIU and them thing, but him no MIU, yes. Yeah, but uh, only uh, MIU could have come up with them things. Mm. MIU feed them things to him. No, it was MIU and them thing, but him not, uh, him, him not live anywhere in North America. Yeah, but you know, you know, MIU was created by 
us here in the US, right? Funded, trained, the whole works. Yeah, but the MIU existed from from um, it existed from after independence. It's a part of the military always. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so funded by, by the Americans, that was, the Americans were the one that evil, during, uh, when Michael Mann, yeah, um, yeah, so we have come to the end of part four, uh, you know, of this um, series, this docuseries, um, exposing, um, you know, the um, the inner workings of this group, um, you know, headed by Wilfred Rattigan, the former FBI agent and Jamaican. Um, who lives in the United States of America and based on what um, Mr. Herb Nelson has said that Mr. Rattigan was using his experience as a former FBI agent to tackle the Jamaican government and destabilize Jamaica so that the PMP criminal organization and Baby Jump would be able to um, attain power at the expense of the Jamaican people so they would cause, they would cause um, division in our country because they want power what a wicked set of people. When Jamaica, this are the least corrupt government since 1989. And this is what they are implying. So, as you have heard, as we say in the beginning, and you're going to, you know, this, what I don't know how to believe it, you know, this is not an ordinary case, you know. This, if the Jamaican government, as we said before, make a report to the federal government, you are telling us a head start rule. Because this is a money laundering case. When I ask you, I tell you, I tell you that. You understand? So, have yourself a beautiful day. Um, part 5 will be coming up shortly. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out. Oh.